I may have a message for the music production community. If you are a beginner, beat maker, if you, whoever you are in this music industry. I'm out here in nature and it's just a bunch going on, cutting grass and just berries chirping sometimes. Anyway, I've been getting a lot of comments or messages from you guys wanting to know how to get noticed or get your music out there and, and you know, pick up deals and things like that. And a lot of times it's coming from you guys that don't have a profile picture, first of all. So you need a profile picture on your social media. And then there's just others that's just not into social media at all. And it's like, um, you're gonna need a social media presence in order to get yourself out there. Now you might be saying, well, you know, I, I don't think I really need all that because there's other people, other producers out here that got deals and things like that, that don't, is not really on the social media platform. But see, here's the thing. Those people already have the connects. You know what I mean? They got friends that is well connected or maybe their uncle or father or auntie is already in the industry and see the potential in nephew or niece or my brother, you know, and they put them on and, you know, they're well connected and got placements and deals like that in the industry. But for you, that might not be the case. You might be someone who needs a little help and I, I hope to share information that is very helpful to you guys that, that needs help getting out there. Now the thing that I preach a lot to everybody is brand. You need a brand. You need to be able to brand yourself. You need to be able to market yourself. You got to have a dope profile picture or even a logo that represent your name. You need a dope name to call yourself. And that's all about the brand. The brand, the imaging, you know, the whole aspect. You gotta think about people who discover you the first time. And if your picture is dark, blurry, and not professional looking, a lot of times people just scroll right past you and don't give you a shot, right? You gotta do something different. You gotta, you gotta first make yourself look appealing and pleasing to the public the world you know what i mean just think about it there is a lot of people that are doing the same thing you're doing everybody wants to get heard everybody wants to make money making music or whatever but you 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 are now competing with everybody that's out here trying to do the same thing so someone that has a dope image a dope platform image logo dope logo you know what i'm saying pictures that are professionally taken against you that you know someone that's just getting started you know which profile do you think people will click on yours someone with blurry picture background and audio not that great picture quality not that great versus someone with a more so professional look and look like they're doing it you know just tell me who you think that they will pick i need to move from this spot before i get ate up by some ants if you're someone just starting out, it can be very challenging, trust me. Coming from someone who started out from zero and got to the point where I am now, I don't claim to be like this superstar or someone with a lot of social media followers and things like that. But, you know, if you look at my numbers now, they are definitely far from zero and I'm only growing and I'm constantly trying to, trying to grow. So here's the thing. You got to start somewhere. You know what I mean? Don't look at my numbers. Don't look at, you know, everyone else that's doing it big. You got to start somewhere. You, you got to You got to start. I say a good place to start is IG, Instagram, you know, start doing videos on Instagram. Do some live. If you're a rapper, do some freestyling. If you're a beat maker, show people that you make beats and show them your process. People are always interested in seeing your work and, and how well you do what you do. You know what I'm saying? That is a great way to let people know that you out here and you got something quality to share with everybody. The other thing I usually tell people is you got to get out here more. You got to go to festivals. You got to go to seminars and just different events that may be happening. You know, you got to go to some some um, live events. You got to go to some open mics or whatever. But, you know, um, 
seeing what happened to the world just a few months back, I can't really push that anymore. So your presence on social media is everything right now that everybody is doing it. Go live. And you have to stay persistent doing that. You know what I mean? This has to be something that you do all the time. I understand you're not used to it and you may not have it in you. But if you're talking about trying to get out here and do something then you you just have to, you gotta do what you gotta do you know what i mean you gotta do what you gotta do so with that being said everybody's out here doing the same thing right so how could you stand out amongst the rest well you got to do something more creative what is it that you can do that's different from everybody else i don't know that's something you have to figure out for me i do tutorials on youtube showing people how to make beats and so a lot of people are trying to learn how to make beats and mix and mass and that type of thing so i found my market doing that i make music courses online and a lot of people are gaining a lot from it and i'm pretty much successful in that area you know you just got to find out what works for you most importantly you have to have social media links like soundcloud or bandcamp or something like that because the thing that people want to hear is you you can't send you can't email your beats to people you know what i mean it's better to have links and for those of you that are new to this you're thinking well how do i protect myself i don't want everybody with my music out here well you could definitely set up private links on those links like with soundcloud i know that you can set up a private link and send it to whoever you like and if you are worried about somebody stealing your stealing your beats or something like that then you could definitely take it down or make it uh super private where no one can gain access to it something like that i know with youtube you can set your link up to be unlisted you can always switch it to private which makes it it's pretty much disabling the link the, the link and no one can see what you have on youtube okay so you say well ella i don't have all of the fancy equipment i ain't got the professional camera and you know i, I don't have professional sound i don't know how to get the sound into my phone and things like that and blah 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 and blah this and that well if you're watching this video you pretty much have a cell phone and you probably have internet which means you're good to go you can go live from your cell phone to facebook ig twitter youtube pretty much anywhere that you can do live at right and as long as you have a camera on your phone you should be good to go but my camera is not that great well all you got to do is just like me what i'm doing now i'm, I'm filming this in a well lit area right and that's the same if you are in your house if you if you're taking pictures or you're doing video or whatever put your camera against the light don't don't take a shot where the light is beaming in from behind you you got to be in the shot where the light source is coming in front of you and then take your shot and you should get a really great picture you can't film in the dark your, your picture is obviously going to be grainy so that's how you can get better and clear clarity in your pictures and you know it works great all the time you don't need an expensive camera to do so as long as you have good lighting you can get a really great image that way so also another great tip is when you post in videos you want to get a habit of using tags you want to tag your videos because it makes you vulnerable to the search you know what i mean if you tag it like music production or made a beat or something like that use a hashtag and a hashtag is with the the number sign if you guys know what that is it's like 11 and two crosses i don't know that's the best way i can say it and, and of course there are so many people that are doing the same exact thing but you got to say this to yourself now if i don't do it then what are the chances that anyone would discover me or hear what I have to say or, or hear my sound? So your best bet is to just get on the bandwagon and do what everybody else is doing because the chances that someone discover you are higher than what you've been doing. If you don't post because you're scared or you just everybody doing the same thing, well, that's kind of the point. And a lot of people are being discovered doing the same thing. But it all comes down to what are you doing that's different from everybody else and that's something that you have to tap into yourself you are creative you just don't know it you got to put it you got to put your mind to use and and tap into the creative juices that you have that's within you it's okay to copy other people's style it, it is it totally is it's, it's, it's okay it's totally fine until you find your own style your own way you know until that time you got to do what you got to do out here 
This everybody's posting videos. Everybody's going live. You got to get on this platform. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what I know. You got to watch others that's doing it. Anybody that you like watching, you know, study them. See what they're doing. How is it that they gravitating towards the people? You got to you got to be also interactive with your fans. People that follow you that like what you're doing. You got to stay interactive with them. And any new people that comes on, you got to show them love. You know what I'm saying? And you got to stay humble at all times. And I, I think that's what works for me. You know, I try to stay interactive with my with my people and keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, even this right here, this is something new for me. I like to do more of these type style type type style vlogging videos. You know what I'm saying? Get out here in the nature and do some videos, shooting, things like that. So. You know, even this is new, new for me, you know, and I see other, a lot of other people that are doing the same thing that's 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 doing really well doing vlogging. And, you know, but, you know, we got to start somewhere. Right now, did I mention that you have to stay persistent? Yes, that is the key. It's going to be some it's going to be a learn a, a lonely journey. There's going to be moments where you feel like nobody's hearing you and, you, you know, you're not growing and, and that type of thing. But you can't let that deter you from the goal. You got to keep the goal in sight at all times. You got to think about it, even write it down. Write down the goal. Post it up in your room or a wall, refrigerator or whatever. Post it up and remind yourself as to why you're doing this. You want to be successful. You want to make it big. You know what I mean? Even though the world is going up in flames right now, you know, don't let that discourage you because there's still room for people to, to make it out here e even now. Yes in this in these times staying persistent is key just think about it if you discover somebody and they have a dope video it may be dope but will it encourage you to the point where you subscribe to their channel or subscribe follow them on ig or whatnot right what will it what are the factors that make you want to follow somebody you know if you go on their channel and see that they have only one or two videos up are you going to subscribe to that channel no because they're not persistent there's not no nothing current there's no, nothing constantly happening so it's like a waste of time of being subscribed to someone's channel so yeah you have to stay persistent and that's the only way that people will find value in what you do because you're always doing it so you have to stay persistent and do it all the time oh yes about the trolls and people who comes on and say negative things every once in a while yeah you're gonna have some of those as well yeah absolutely someone's gonna come on and tell you how whack you are or how you should do this and do that and you know, this, this is always people on there trying to bully other creators. And, and, and a lot of times you got to think, the people that say, say these things to people or come on your channel or videos and say crazy things like that, you got to think, are they doing what you're doing? Mm, nine times out of ten, they are not. They're not doing the same thing you're doing. Um, a lot of them are just on there just saying what they think you should do and how this and that and you know blah 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 whatever right and they don't have a clue as to how much hard work goes into doing videos editing videos and trying to stay current out here and you know what i mean uh come up with content that you think people will like to to hear um it's a lot of work that goes into it so you can't allow people to come on and tell you what they think about you if it's negative you know what i mean you can't you can't feed into that. You got to ignore that. You got to be a big boy. You got to be a big girl. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't, you cannot feed into that because it will happen. If it ain't happened to you yet, trust me, it will happen because you can't please anyone. That's something I learned. You can't please everybody in this world. You're always going to do something that people is not going to approve of. And you got to tell yourself this. Are you trying to please everybody? Or you just trying to get the word out there me myself personally i'm trying to reach anybody who digs my sound who likes my style and that's pretty much it and that's enough for me to keep going to continue i have plenty of people who tell me hey bro i learned so much from you on your channel and i think you should keep going don't don't worry about the other people the trolls are saying stupid stuff you know what i mean so if you are that person that shared some positive words with me on my channel i appreciate you i really do you don't know how much that means to me because sometimes the negative words from someone else could definitely do some 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 damage to a person but i've learned how to ignore that and keep going so this talk about you not having enough money to do what you got to do out here 
you might as well delete that out of your system because you don't need any money to be present on social media and let the world see and hear what you have to offer. So, basically, with that being said, there are some things that I would definitely refrain from. I know you knew you don't have many followers right now, but the thing that irks me the most is when people come in my inbox on any of my social media platforms and send me links and say, check me out. You look like you spamming somebody and the like for like or subscribe for subscribe. You subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to yours. I, 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 just don't think that's the best way to market yourself or brand yourself people figured out a way to report you I'm not saying that that doesn't work for some people because it has at one point it, it was a big thing everyone was doing that you know like mine like my channel I like yours I'll subscribe or I'll follow you you follow me that type of thing return to follow I, I mean that there's no real no value you want people to follow you based on your work and your style you know what I mean you don't want just a bunch of people following you because if you if you post a video and you got like a hundred thousand people and you only got a hundred likes on the video what does that really say about your channel they shutting down people channels and and accounts like that that's doing that these days so you definitely don't want to be you know th there, there is a lot of things going around where people can get you can pay for service pay for subscribers and pay for followers that's not a good idea because like I say people are getting shut down for stuff like that it looks very suspicious if you got only 50 likes and you got like thousands and thousands of followers and it looked like you paid somebody to hook your account up so the numbers look really great but you want real interaction trust me you don't want only 50 people commenting you when you got 100,000 followers. You want like all 100 or at least half of them. You know what I'm saying? Fake it till you make it, some people may say. I don't know. I, I, I advise highly against that. You have to build connections with people. You have to build relationships with people. You have to talk to people, get to know people. That's, that's the best way to grow. Like I've been saying throughout this video, the main thing is staying persistent, learning how to use hashtag, promote yourself by joining other people you know you see other people their videos comment to their videos and like introduce yourself and like make some valuable comments you know what i mean don't don't be arrogant or cocky about it when you talking to other people just like you know show you know you, you got to go in and comment to other people with real real content you know tell them how well they doing on their videos it's kind of like reaping what you sow. The way you want people to react to your videos is the way you should be to other people. Spend time and interact with the value of what they have on their videos. And I think that's the best way people will see you. So when you do that, the the favor would definitely return. They'll want to, like, this guy, he's pretty cool. Or this girl, I like her. Let me check her out. Or let me check him out. You know what I mean? I, I feel like that's the best way to... That, that's the best way to do it, I feel. Man, this is a good coffee. I mean, it's definitely a lot of work, you know. You gotta start somewhere and just, I don't know. Uh, social media is like one of those places that's, you know, a little, little yeah, it's, it's complicated, right? But I promise you, if you stay persistent, use hashtags, that is the best way to gain followers and stay persistent that's that's the main thing if you just always doing it I, I promise you people will flock until you like it's crazy you just have to keep doing it you have to keep doing it I already know what it is out here when it's like it's, you know the the inspiration dies sometimes but you, you gotta keep doing it post like maybe once a week that's that's my suggestion post at least once well, once a week so you should be posting maybe four times a month I think it's better you post more than that maybe twice a week but you know if you just starting out and this is something new to you then you know just make sure you post it at least once that way 
we know to at least look forward to something once a week from you. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that's that's what you need to do. There there needs to be some type of currency going on, you know, with you and your channel. And that's 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 the goal. That's that's the goal, guys. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope that this information was very helpful. Comment down below, like the video, share it. You know, share share the video. Absolutely, subscribe. Most importantly, and um. My name is Ella from Creative Sound. Remember music's art, you the artist, paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. Get you some coffee. Get inspired. Raise your vibrations. Now I'm pumped. I'm ready to go make some music now.